Holy shit, dude. Looks like I missed all the fun. Yeah. Next time, I drive the truck. You fight the freakers. Yeah, brother. Okay, just pull it over there. All right, you got it. <laughs> Head back to camp. I'll meet you there. <clears throat> All right. And, uh, booze man. Drive carefully. <laughs> what do you think? That I'm gonna blow myself up? Looks like everything's set. Yeah. Rookie rigged this up for the steering wheel. We drive right up to the front door, jump. Goodbye, militia. Okay, well, you sure you want to do this? I mean, it's a long way to drive with only one arm. Asshole. Look, Boozer, you and I both know it's probably a one-way trip. Yeah. Then I won't have to drive back. Fuck yeah, I want this. Oh, but there's just one thing. Only a couple of bikers will pull a dumbass stunt like this. It's just us. Yep. We're gonna do this or what? Goddamn stream. <sighs> Looks like Ricky's coming after all. What's up, Deke? Nice jacket. Looks good on you. Ricky, Addy. I appreciate it, but Boozer and I, we, we got to take care of some stuff. Word gets around. Your speech touched more people than you thought, Deke. I told you, you can't do this alone. Oh, don't worry. They're not doing it for you. They're doing it for him. Listen up! The plan is simple. Boozer and I are gonna hit the north gate. We're gonna blow it to hell. Now that's gonna pull everyone at the south gate. And what you gotta do is just follow Ricky. Yeah? Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. 
to. You ready? Listen, I'm gonna radio when we hit the bridge. Don't go in and tell that. Okay. All right! Let's do this! <laughs> Damn it, Boozer! Oh, God damn it! Please, who are you going to kill? Every goddamn one of you! Get up there and start second charges. I said go, goddammit, go! You got 
Schizo! Son of a bitch, Schizo! I'm coming, Schizo. Oh, well, now we gotta do it the hard way. I see the top of the cone. Gotta get to the top of the cone. Flamethrower. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, I gotta find a way past these guys. Sniper, I gotta be on the uh, tower. I gotta take him out, I gotta take him out. <laughs> gotta get past these guys. Can you hear me? Back to the colonel. Come on. Captain Sarko 
Rosie. Reporting in. We... How many explosives did you say? Captain, we didn't have time to set them all... What? God damn it! How many? Uh, it's, it's three! Three, sir! Okay, okay. I'm going down to get the detonator from Weaver. Hold the cave entrance. Got that? No one gets down here. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. No one gets down. Sarah and her... And stay off this goddamn channel. It might have been compromised. Go to hell. Schizo. Oh, you son of a bitch. Three explosives. Oh, I gotta find them. Oh, wow, the Colonel's Bible looks pretty well read. Here's one. I got it, disarm it. There. Okay, goddammit. Where's the others? for me. That goddamn detonator. Fuck you, man. I ain't getting strapped in here. Weaver, come on. You know we follow orders. That's how it has to be. Where the fuck is it? Weaver, where's the goddamn detonator? Skizzle, you better Give let him go. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you son. No. Fuck. Hey, hey. Get the hell out of here! Go on, go! I've got some people coming to the north gate! Go! Kill me real bad. 
Something schizo. There was a time when I would have uh, dragged you out into the shit. And I would have left you to the freaks. But hey, hey, hey. I'm not gonna do that. You wanna know why? Because they would tear you limb from limb. But you know what? They wouldn't enjoy it. has ordained this place. This is consecrated ground. We are safe in this place. We are safe in this place. I don't know when or why, but I, uh, I, I saw something. A, a month ago, maybe, I... <sighs> I felt something, something I, I hadn't felt in a long time, and, um, and I know that a lot of you might have, might have felt the same way, and I, I think that if we just can... Deacon? I'll have your side on. It's all over. Your militia is done. Would you like some tea? I'm sure you would. Sarah, would you pour the drifter a cup of tea? The Ark was our only hope. You realize that, of course. 
and the world was cleansed, it was the only thing that would allow us to rebuild. Everything was here, protected, saved by the grace of God. <laughs> we never did find someone to play the piano, though, did we? <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter now. When all this is gone, there'll be nobody left to hear the music. You've destroyed us. You destroyed everything we worked for. No, Colonel, you did when you started this holy war. You know, given the choice between you and the freaks, I'm gonna have to go with them, because at least when they kill, they're just looking for a meal, and they don't kill unarmed women. No! <laughs> Uh, could you set up a triage tent over there? Hey. Hey, there's a cave entrance over there. You'll find supplies and bandages. Get some men. Go. You, you, let's go. Ricky! Patty. Does anyone hear me? I can help. I'm a doctor. <laughs> it's over. Everyone that wasn't killed or wounded by the blast pretty much just gave up. Where is Boozer? Move it. Ricky, I need attack. some help over here. The north gate. The south gate. Move. Ricky. My leg. My leg. Yeah. Hope you save some for me. Boozer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I jumped. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Just you before I ran out of bridge. I saw yeah. the truck. No, no, no. I felt the blast wave. Even under 10 feet of water. Now that was a ride. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't think I'd blow myself up, did you? Then who'd be around to bust your balls? I would. <laughs> hey! Oh! Hey. Little sister. Oh. Yeah, yeah, long story. <laughs> so, um, I hear someone's been looking for you. What? Well, kind of wouldn't shut up about it. Yeah, don't listen to him. It was really <laughs> more his idea. Than Ricky, Eddie, which one of you is driving me out of this shithole? <laughs> All yours, brother. So I hear that you're staying on to rebuild. Not all the colonel's ideas were bad. Just the batch of crazy. You're the second person to tell me that. Who else? Corey? 
You know what? Fuck that dude. Hey, he left us here to rot. If it wasn't for him, we'd all be dead. Whatever, man. Then I think we'll try this again without all the army man bullshit. <laughs> hey, you gonna miss my speech? Nah, I wouldn't say I'm gonna miss it. Brother, we did it. You did it. Ah, man, you know, I gotta go around. I admit for a second there, I thought that you were, um... You gonna blow myself up? I told you I got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Give him hell, brother. Yeah, here it goes. Chuck would be proud. did it. We did it. <laughs> See? Good things happen when you stop and light a candle. Well, this is sort of more of a bonfire, but yeah. <laughs> Never seen you give a speech before. Oh, come on. It ain't gonna be a speech. Okay. Man. Oh, shit. That's enough of that. Oh, yeah. They're waiting for you. God. It's your cue. <sighs> I know we got a lot of rebuilding to do, so I'm gonna keep this short. Look, I'm not a leader. Yeah, right. no, I don't care what you say, I'm not. But, um, you've done something here today. We've done something. We banded together to fight. Uh, not because some asshole told us to, but because it was the right thing to do. And you know what? We won. You know, I've seen you struggle to rebuild. I've seen you fight to save lives, to keep people safe, keep people fed. I've seen you sacrifice everything that you have, everything that you are, make the world a better place. And see, that's why we're still here. That's why we're still here. Because if we don't have hope, for a better life, or for a future that matters. Yeah. How are we fighting for? Yeah. You know, Iron Mike, he, uh, yeah. he once said to me that, that we make the world what it is by what we do. Yeah. Huh? What did we do? Huh? What are we going to do? See this? This is the first step. I thought you weren't going to give a speech. Yeah, I screwed up. Uh, how was it? You know, it was, it was all right for an outlaw biker. Outlaw biker, huh? <laughs> Are you ready to ride? Old lady? I don't know, depends. Where are we going? Wherever the hell we want.
Sometimes don't it make you wonder, darling When will it come to an end? Cause the price we pay left a mark that stays And I don't think I'll ever be saved We might have kept a black and black Looks like there's no way around But I know I tried somehow At least it's all gone quiet for now Tomorrow don't mean much In the waters we waiting for me when I get to my grave cause the price we pay left a mark that stains and I don't think I'll ever be the same we might have kept a black and black but I
Deke. Long time no see. How's life treating you, Blair? Good one. Uh, good choice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, good. Yep. Good one. Uh, good choice. All right. Hey, come around more often. Do you... We miss you. Freaks remember anything? Life. Good to see you, Deke. Buzz, how's a camper's life? A ratchet wrench? I got you covered. Hey, your bike's looking good now. Where's the screwdriver? I'll be here if you need me. I'm here if you need me, man. Uh, here they are. Good. I do, sweetheart. Deke, how's my favorite bounty hunter? Blair, you are looking fine today.
Yeah. Hey. Hey, Deacon. Addie carved it herself. It's beautiful, right? Thanks. Yeah, it was in a piece of redwood that Mike kept in his room. He once told me that when things settled down, he was gonna make something out of it, like a <laughs> cribbage board. Wait, a what? A, he doesn't play cribbage. Mm. I or Mike play cribbage. <laughs> no, no, but that's the point, that there'd come a day when something like that mattered again. Well, oh, what does it say? Yeah, don't look at me, I just carved it. It's a, it's an old Hindu proverb. My mother taught it to me. It reads, rivers do not drink their own water, trees do not eat their own fruit, and clouds do not swallow their own rain. What great ones have is always for the benefit of others. What do you think? Well, coming from you, I think that would have meant a lot to him. Yeah. Yeah, I think if Mike were here, he would probably say something like, what the hell is that even mean? <laughs> huh? Come on. Yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> he would have said, what the hell does that mean? Followed by, what the hell are you doing standing around here? The world ain't going to save itself. God damn it. Get right. to work. You're right again. Come on, guys. Let's get to work. <sighs> Oh, did I ever tell you about the time that Iron Mike saw Addie and I for the first time at the lodge in front of the fireplace? Oh, this is funny. <laughs> okay, so we were tangled up. No, 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 no. We were all up okay. in there. What? Addie. Uh, uh, why? For the first time, and Iron Mike comes out and he looks at us. This. You can stop. He had that grin on his I'm not gold. You're such a pervert. You here to buy something? How's it going, Buzz? Hey, your bike's looking good now. What else can I get you? That's a good piece, nice and sturdy. Yeah, good part, that one. And yeah, that'll last you. Hey, your bike's looking good now. What else can I get you? Okay, okay. I'll top you off. I'm here if you need me, man. Can I do this to my- 
myself I can't look in the mirror in my own fucking house and I don't really love me but baby you're killing me and I don't really want to be alone tonight but when you're around all we do is fight and I can't sing no more my motivation up and walked out the door and every time I try to scream again my empty heart stops beating leaving me with no friends and I don't really love me but baby you're killing me and I don't really want to be alone tonight but when you're around all we do Everybody keeps getting by While I sit here, I keep getting high How can I do this? To myself, I can't look in the mirror in my own fucking house. And I don't really love me, but baby, you're killing me. And I don't really want to be alone tonight. But when you're around, all we do is fight. And I... Killing me, and I don't really want to be alone tonight. But when you're around, all we do is fight. Ah. Hey, how's it going, Dig? What's up, Joker? Dig. See ya. Hey, my bad. What can I do you for? <laughs> yep. All right. Don't be such a stranger. You here to buy something? Here. See you, Deke.
Hey! We got a goddamn ripper here! Turn around! I'm not a ripper! Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold up, hold up, hold up! I know her. Uh, put that away. I got this. Okay, take care of her. Not my problem. Is, is this your ride? It's a piece of shit, but it runs. Uh, well, I don't know if you're sticking around, but I could have Ricky take a look at it. I brought some bounties to trade. Use you to Joe Haslam, who's the bounty collector. He's right at this one. I'm not staying. I'm not staying in a goddamn camp. Yeah, do whatever you want. You know, while you're here, uh, I'd like to introduce you uh, to someone. Her name is Sarah. She had a kid sister. Who lived her kid sister reminds me of you, so I thought that maybe you would like her. I had a sister. She was older than me. A pain in my ass. Kind of reminds me of my older brother, Boozer. Pain in my ass. Actually, he's not my brother. Um, we rode together in the MC. And he's the head of security around here, so you should probably meet him, too. I told you I'm not staying. And I heard you. Seriously, do whatever you want. So what kind of gun you got there? Are you making sure that you ride out with plenty of ammo? Yeah, I got enough. I'm good. Deke, how's my favorite bounty hunter? Hey, Blair, how are things in the gun trade? I don't understand. you say to me I don't want to be broken or feel so empty my broken heart never looks so dry all I could the way you say goodbye if you could open your eyes and see all of our life you leave me from your way You don't understand me or how I operate I'm 
not gonna lie I just want to die I'm not over and over with you If you could open your eyes And see all of our life It's been a long time coming But I don't wanna so close. Yeah, you really were like a brother and sister. It's like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. That shit do it. John, are you there? Oh, Brian. What? Why are you on this channel? We tried contacting you on our channel. Well, I lost the radio the night that shit went down. Did she make it out? Your wife? Yeah, no thanks to you. I'm glad. There's something that I have to tell you. So talk. In person. Nah, I don't think so. It's important. <sighs> Shit. In the Northern Cascades, there's an old pioneer cemetery. Yeah, okay. I know the one. Meet me there. Please. Can't say I expected to hear from you again. What is it this time? Believe me or not, I'm glad to see you again. That night at Wizard Island didn't seem to go well. 
What can I do for you, O'Brien? I'm here to warn you. Warn me? Warn me about what? You remember? I told you the infected were evolving. Right, yeah, freak's a freak. What the hell do I care? <laughs> Strain of the virus, its effects on the human nervous and lymphatic systems is accelerating at an exponential rate. They knew all along, of course, that it was happening. The men above me, that's why they were so cautious, so secretive. We're coming. I'm sorry. There's nothing you can do to stop them. There's nothing anyone can do. Choppers? Nero choppers? Well, none have been sighted in days. But don't cool your heels just yet. Nero isn't done, not by a long shot. With Nero out of the skies, that can only mean one thing. They got what they're after, and they've all flown back to their coops. This is the endgame, friends. The feds have had this plan ready long before the freaks. Now, they're gonna roll over the earth, and woe to anyone who stands in their way. But we've hung on this long. We're not gonna give up now. We're fighters. We've survived two years in the shit, in the freak show. And we are nothing if not prepared. Like I said before, Cope, you don't know the half of it, but yeah, yeah, I'm with you on this one. It ain't over yet.